So I mentioned I had a crazy idea to improve reliability and power on my chainsaw mill. And here it is. I made an electric chainsaw. It was remarkably easy. Since it's just for milling, it doesn't need a lot of the stuff a chainsaw needs. There's no handle or trigger or vibration mounts or kickback safety. So yeah, this is just an electric motor bolted to a chainsaw bar. There's nothing to it. But I got the motor Talia, my homemade electric motorcycle. If you don't Talia, go watch some of my older videos. That's a pretty cool project. But this is a 15 horsepower electric DC motor. Uh, she had two of them. I robbed one, wired it up to the speed controller and battery packs and everything that's already on there. Bolted a chainsaw bar to it. Made a quick and dirty boiler. This works great, actually. It's just a bottle with a tap in the corner that I turn over when I want it on and turn over when I want it off. And then the clamp that holds the end of it over the tip of the bar is just tightened down to the point where it drips at a rate that looks reasonable. But yeah, this thing works great. No gas, no mixing. You flip a switch and it turns on. I mean, you still have to fill up bar oil, but it runs at something like 3,500 RPM, which is less than half the speed of a chainsaw. But it's like triple the power, so pulls chips out just as fast. Faster, a lot faster, actually. So I've been using this for this log so far, and I'm, I'm super happy with it. This thing works great. I think it's the way to go. Screwing around with a gas chainsaw, especially a cheapo, malfunctioning, unreliable, low-power gas chainsaw like the ones that I have. Uh, this is a huge upgrade. Unfortunately, not everybody has a homemade electric motorcycle laying around that they can scavenge for parts. So this isn't really portable as an idea. But for me, it's working great. And uh, I think that for as long as I'm gonna be chainsaw milling, which may not be that long, this is gonna be the way to do it. See, works great. That used 10% of the battery capacity depending on how much sap wood is in there and how sharp the chain is and some other factors that can vary quite a bit. I had a cut yesterday right through the center of this log, the hardest heartwood, and I didn't sharpen the chain properly and I used like 45% in one slab, but that was unusual. So plenty of battery to get me through the day. I charge it overnight, ready to go again in the morning. No gas, no exhaust, no fumes. It's fantastic. I'm really happy with it, especially since I sort of expected to iterate on it a couple of times. I expected to cobble this together and have issues with it and have to remake it once or twice, but no, this was this was revision A and it just works.